Welcome back to the Hazardous Channel. Today I'm sitting down with Mickey Valens. He's our third interview for our models for our, on our website. So I just want to say, hey Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow our mind. Oh, hey Mickey. you. Oh, I'm leaving you hanging. <laughs> um, so I just want to thank you for coming and sitting down with me to answer a couple questions so we can get an insight to the face behind the character Mickey Valens. Yes. So my first question for you is, where did you learn your mad editing skills? And if you haven't seen his first hat, his first set for our site, The Red Hot Riding Hood featuring Vespia Noir, you need to hit his page right now. This is the first set that we've done on our website that hasn't been edited by myself, and it was just mind-blowing the things that Mickey could do with his editing. Thank you. Yeah, I learned Photoshop mostly through trial and error, just experimenting. I did study at SAIT, because I'm a graphic artist by trade, um, but yeah, if you're learning Photoshop or just getting into it, there's lots of tutorials online and if you ever have any questions, you can shoot them my way and maybe I can answer them. Yeah. Awesome. So Mickey, you're also a musician. You're yes. actually a very talented drummer and well, you play you. in a couple of bands in our city. Can you tell our fans who you play for? Yes, uh, I mainly drum for Septembrio and you can look us up by just googling the word Septembrio. Uh, <laughs> I also drum for a side project called The Heart and the Flame. We're putting out an EP pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that. And I have a solo project called Her Motives Are Silent, which is more just me experimenting, you know, writing my own songs. That's a new gig. And uh, once a month, or sorry, once a year, I play for a Christmas band called The Jingles. You can check us out too. But yeah, back to Septembrio. Um, we're currently recording, and we're playing a show actually January 31st at the Gateway at Sate. Um, we're playing a Mardi Gras party. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, so. that sounds like a blast. Yeah. You hazmat people should be down there and having fun. And we're also going to Toronto in March for Canadian Music Week, so we're stoked for that. Oh wow, that's huge. Yes. That's huge. Fantastic. So you play the drums. Mm -hmm. Do you have anybody that has influenced you, or do you have a favorite, quote, drummer? Yeah, uh, some of the drummers that have influenced me are Darren King from Mute Math, um, Dave Grohl, of course, John Bonham, Jason Bonham, Joey Jordison, Riley from Thrice, um, and Jose from Incubus. I mean, the list goes on and on, but yeah. those are those drummers have been very influential in my career, or just my art of drumming, yeah. They're all great picks. Thanks. So our next question <laughs> comes from a fellow model and fan, oh. the lovely Vespia Noir. Hey, V! I'm a fan of you as well. <laughs> um, so she would like to know, why okay. do you have the Muppet Animal on your drum kit, and what is your favorite part about modeling, and why? Okay. Um, so if anybody has seen the Muppets, you know Animal's a drummer, of course. Mm -hmm. So that's why I have him hanging on my drum set. He drums for Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem, and yeah, I, I yeah, I used to. I just grew up on the Muppets, and I love the shows and the movies. And he's just one of my favorite drummers as well. And I kind of look up to the Muppets. They kind of inspire me to just my persona is kind of all the Muppets thrown in a blender and poured into my body. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> and what was the second part of that question? Um, she wants to know what your favorite part of modeling is and why. Oh, just meeting awesome people, all the models I've worked with and have yet to work with, just awesome people mm -hmm. and looking forward to hanging out with you all and getting to know you better and yeah, and just seeing the finished result. Like because yeah. I love the planning stage too though, you know this. Like yeah. me and you have email conversations planning like every full, intricate detail. Full, full pages. And then, <laughs> Bringing it to life, you know, it's just mm -hmm. this idea becomes a reality, and then yeah, and then a great finished product in oh, the end. And yeah. Plus, you get to work with everybody and exactly. meet everyone. It's great. So I want to thank you for coming by no the problem. Hazardous Thanks Channel. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, at the end of this, we're gonna roll some credits, and we're gonna have Mickey's bands, his Facebook page, and how you can get a hold of him if you'd like to work with him. We're from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Mm -hmm. So give us a ring. Hazardous Material at www.hazardousmaterial.com. Thanks, guys. Thank you. See ya.